If you would like to support the channel, I would suggest you to check out the secret sandwich.xyz. It's the secret sandwich NFT project. You can come here, you can mint an NFT, or you can come and check out your NFTs. Okay, so let's get back to it. Which today I have a little uh, different video for you. Um, one of my viewers or one of my community members, somebody DM'd me and asked me, hey, do you know how to set up a bot for uh, notifications of... Uh, when things happen, right? So today I'm going to kind of show you how to do this. Now, before I show you, I'm going to put out a disclaimer there that, you know, there are many ways to do this. And even within the project that I'm going to use, which is Tenderly, there are options that you can choose that will create the same outcome. So you kind of have to decide how to do this yourself and uh, which one will work best for you. But the one I show you will probably likely work, okay? Now, also, I'm not an expert on Scream. However, I think I have the right way to do this, and I think it's the easiest way to do it. So uh, this is I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? Now, the problem here uh, is that if you come to the expand here, we, we see that uh, you know BTC has zero liquidity in there, but has total supply of 1.3 million. And all of, a lot of them, the utilization is above 100%. So the problem is that you know the people who lent Bitcoin here, someone else borrowed it, and the lenders cannot get the money out. Okay, So that's the issue. So what people want to know is, hey, when can I get my money out? So we need a bot to tell us when we can get our money out. Okay, And I've done this in the past. And I've done it in the past. If I go to Discord here, and so you, as you can see, I have this channel called Lenflare Liquidation Repay, and I have a bot in here telling people that, hey, you know, on Lenflare, when someone repays, right, repay borrow, or when someone gets liquidated, then it tells anybody who's monitoring this channel that, hey, you know, you can probably go there quickly and try to be the first person to withdraw your your capital, right? So let's go back to this. So here I am. So the first thing we have to do is uh, we have to set up our Tenderly. So I'm not going to teach you how to set up the Tenderly with a project. It's pretty simple. You go to Tenderly, right? You go to this Tenderly website and you create a username, you create a project and, and all that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import the contract that you want to monitor. You have to tell Tenderly, oh, this is a contract that I, I'm, I think is... I need to under I need to pay attention to right. So you go to add contract, and then you go to screen. And if you click on this, it's going to open up the contract for the screen. Okay. Now keep in mind this: if you monitor this contract, you will only know when Bitcoin is repaid or liquidated or so forth. When something happens to to Bitcoin, if someone repays ETH, you you won't be told. Okay, because this contract it's a different contract for that. So I would then copy that, right? Come back to Tenderly, and then I would, you know, add the contract, paste it in, and, and just follow that. It's pretty straightforward, okay? Then we go down to alerts, okay? Now this uh, this this uh, um, account only has a trial, and a trial only allows you to create three alerts. So I'm going to create one. But as you can see, I created two for Lenflare. I created a liquidate and a repay, borrow and when I created these, I, I needed to know both because you want to know when someone repays their debt or when someone gets liquidated because both of those factors will allow you to pull out your capital. So go to create new alert. And like as you can see, there are many choices here. There are many things you could you could monitor, right? So I've decided to choose event emitted. Now, why is that? If we go back here and we go through and we see, oh, there's a repay borrow here. And if we go to logs, logs shows you the events. And as you can see, there is one event here that's called repay borrow. And, you know, it's the borrower. Uh, sorry, someone pays and the borrower and then like how much they repay. OK, because so this will cover both repay and repay for. OK, so I, I choose event as the, the thing that I want to monitor. You could instead you could monitor the actual calling of the transaction it's the same thing though it'll have the same outcome except i believe i think i could be wrong don't quote me on this that this repay borrow event covers both repay and repay for someone else okay so you can you can check that out on, on your own okay 
So I'm going to go with event, right? And now you can decide, oh, like which kind of uh, like address, select the addresses in which the alert will be triggered. So you could choose this specific address, but I'm going to choose network because just in case that address has a, uh, you know, the same thing on another chain, but in likely it doesn't. So I'm going to go with phantom and then I'm going to choose this address and then it's going to be like, oh, what do you, what do you want to, which one of those events do you want to monitor? And I'm going to go find, uh, see, see, there's a, you're going to have to do a liquidate re a borrow as well, right? But I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, repay, where the, where's repay, repay borrow right there. So I'm going to monitor this one. So you're going to have to create two events. Keep that in mind, okay? So next, and then you're going to have, oh, choose where do you want to be notified? So there are all these choices you can set up to, to get notified. And I'm going to go with just that same Discord location. You could set up Telegram. Discord's a little bit hard to set up because you need to create a web hook and you need to be the owner of the or the administrator of that Discord in order to get this web hook. So the easiest one is probably Telegram or email. But you know, you decide which one is the best for you. So I'm going to go with uh, this this one here, and press save, and then it's done. So it's it's set up and it's monitoring. And if that event is triggered, then this tenderly is going to uh, tell me. So let's do a little test uh, test the alert. So on Phantom, and it's going to be like, hey, show me show me a transaction that was that right. So if we go back to this transaction, remember I showed you. This one here, repay borrow, and here's the transaction. I'm gonna grab the transaction hash, bring it over here, paste it in here, and then trigger test alert. It's gonna go, okay, alert triggered. And then I will go back to Discord and see, is it there? Yes, event repay emitted on Phantom. Now keep in mind that this was done like on January 19th, it's now February 10th. So this is obviously not a valid one, but you can monitor this and you can, it will, cre it's just showing you that it is going to show up in the right place. It's going to tell you, you know, all the amounts and stuff, and you can kind of watch this number, but I would immediately just go straight there and try to withdraw whatever I could, right? Now, that pretty much covers it for alert. Um, let's go back to Tenderly. Um, I'm going to make another video soon and talk about this simulator and the forks and so forth. But uh, I think this is enough for one video for today. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, I would suggest you reach out to the Tenderly people. Uh, you can try me. I can try to help out a little bit, but, you know, I get busy and stuff and I can't answer everybody's questions all the time. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been useful and interesting and goodbye.